Howdy everyone, so I wanted to do a really quickie review on the new Canada Goose Spring Collection, mostly because it's hit the store and we have had a chance to try everything on, or at least I've spent some time trying on all the new products, and I kind of wanted to throw out some of my um, opinions on the collection and their take on kind of like what Arcteryx does, which is basically fully functional, multi-purpose, all-year-round products, which is nice to see Canada Goose do for a change, mostly because their parkas are a staple, everybody knows their parkas, so for them to take this challenge on, it'll definitely be interesting to see how well it does this summer. Um, but as far as what my thoughts are, I mean, Canada Goose definitely doesn't um, fail to produce as far as colors go there's a lot of new bright really bright colors which I love especially in my technical gear because when you're going camping or hiking it's nice to actually have brighter colors just in case if you ever get lost it's a bonus to have bright colors and honestly it's spring it's summer there should be super bright colors everything's coming alive again so if you are a fan of super fluorescent colors it's you'll probably like this collection because they've done a lot of dual kind of tones as far as the way they've um, patterned kind of the pieces they have like certain colors in certain areas and then have the piece be one full color which is kind of cool um, it's kind of similar to what Arcteryx does now kind of my overall opinion on the collection or what is kind of defined as the spring collection in Canada Goose. Do I think it's as good as Arcteryx? Yeah, I'm not ready to push it that, my opinion that high with the Canada Goose spring collection, unfortunately. I think that there are a lot of flaws in the products as far as the way they're physically designed. Um, when it comes to their shells, I guess I can start off with that. Their shells are wonderful colors. They seem to fit and overall, I should say, the collection seems to fit more regular and more normal. Um, and even, like, it fits pretty big in some of the pieces. Like, usually, I'm between about a small or a medium, or at least my trillium is a size small. That's usually one of the, like, first questions I get asked, or at least I've been getting asked in the Canada Goose trillium review video. It is a size small, and usually I am small on top. Um... But with some of the pieces, I'm actually anywhere from an extra small to even fitting into a double extra small. So you're going to have to definitely try on the pieces and really reconsider what you're using them for. Whether you're going to be wearing the shells with multiple layers or just as a light spring shell. Um, but with the shells, the both of the moraine and the timber... I'm not in love with it. I, I think it's the Maureen that actually has the hood that's packed away into the collar. It's not brilliant. I mean, the way it's packed away, it's actually quite low profile, so it's great. Um, but the overall design is very boxy and doesn't fit well. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it. It just fits kind of funny, or at least for me, it fits kind of funny. And the hood that's actually packed away into the collar isn't really a fully functional hood. And you were told that it's just in case of emergency, if you're hiking, you know, you and it starts raining, you can kind of take it out and put it on. Which, for me, doesn't really make any sense, considering the price, and, which I will get to my, uh, well, I will get to that in a moment. Um... For the price, the hood is just, you don't get a fully functional hood. It's, I, I'm sorry, but if I was hiking in the woods for like three hours or five days, I'm not going to wear a shell that's not really going to serve all the purposes, especially of protecting me. If you're out there, if you hike, if you climb, if you love the outdoors, any of you out there, you know what I'm talking about. You need a hood that's actually going to do its job and it's actually going to protect you from the rain and the elements. So I don't. I don't think that an emergency hood and the fact that it also doesn't adjust in any what way isn't a good enough reason for me, at least not with the price tag that's attached. Um, out of the shells, definitely hands down, like, I love, love, I don't even know how else to explain it, I love the coastal. It is so flattering and I love it in the new, like, 
brightish orangey red. I'm not totally memorized the colors, the new colors yet, but I love that shell. If I could get my hands on that shell, I would be so happy. It is gorgeous. It makes everybody that I've seen put it on look longer. It's flattering. It fits perfectly. And for a trench, for a functioning trench i think it's going to do incredibly well it doesn't have a belt which is nice it doesn't sound like plasticky which is also a plus to their shells they're not gore-tex they're apparently their own waterproofing which i'm not totally sold on just yet i think if i were to obviously test out one of the shells and actually stand in the pouring rain for a couple of hours i think that's the only way i'd definitely be able to back the waterproofing and really you know say that this is worth the price um like i have done with my arcteryx where i've stood in the pouring rain for three plus hours and gone out for long treks for multiple hours in the pouring rain and they've definitely kept me dry I'm not too sold on the waterproofing either, I, I have to test it out myself, um, but the Coastal I think is going to do incredibly well just for the shape. Now moving away from the shells, um, the price tags on them I don't necessarily agree with. I understand kind of where the mentality is with the company to a degree. I mean they're coming off of a high with the parkas. but. When it comes to the shells, the reality is, is the shell, you know, just because it has the patch on it, it's not going to sell itself anymore. I mean, the spring collection is not going to sell itself with just the patch. People are going to look at these shells and be like, why am I spending $645 on a piece of plastic? And there's no fur on it, and it's not filled with down. Which the parkas sell basically with that, having the fur and the down, it sells itself. But with the shells... Just because it has that patch on it, which most of the people would prefer it not even being there, it's not going to sell that easy. So I really do think they need to reconsider the pricing, especially if you're considering the way that they're kind of marketing themselves, comparing themselves to Arcteryx. Arcteryx is pricey, but their base shell started at about 300 bucks. So the reality is, is I at that point, if I'm going to get a technical shell that I know is going to work for me and I know has the technology in it, it fits properly and I can do everything in it with no concern, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pimp out Arcteryx just a little harder just because I'm not too sold on the shells just yet, especially with the fits of the shorter shells and nah, it just doesn't, I'm, I'm not sold on it just yet. Coastal, thumbs up. Now moving to like the soft shells and um, the mid layers, basically I love them as well. I think they fit great. I think actually overall the fit on most of them are great. I prefer the Hoxton, I believe it's called. I think it's sexy. I think it fits amazing. It's probably my second favorite to the Coastal. I think it's, it's something I definitely want to get my hands on. The price tag again is a little steeper and it's not something I really want to or can afford to spend on a daily basis. Basis, but would I get my hands what if I could could I, would I get my hands on this thing hell yes I think it's a gorgeous jacket the other basically the hood again is packed away into the collar which I think is nice because the way they've done it it's definitely low profile the hood makes a little bit more sense it is a functioning hood for a soft shell um, it's water resistant it's got a fleece lining and I think it just overall looks and fits great and I think again it's pretty sexy for a soft shell North Face makes something completely similar to the Canada Goose one, but I think just the way they've designed the lines on the Goose one actually has it working more than something like the North Face soft shell. Um, so if you're looking for something kind of multi-purpose in and out of the car, even for in going into the winter season, for any of the women out there that get tend to get a little bit warmer, this is a great option. It's got great pockets on it, and so far the women that I have put in it love it. So. Definitely mid layers look like they're doing pretty well. Also along, I guess, with the spring collection, they've got the Highbridge collection, which apparently is going to be gone next year. So if you are interested, I may be wrong, but I have heard that it's going to be gone next year. So if you are interested in getting anything out of the Highbridge collection or getting something that basically won't ever come back, or at least as far as we know isn't going to come back, 
grab one of the hybrid pieces. Basically, they're super thin and lightweight down filled pieces, which you wonder why it would be good for spring, mostly just because you can layer them up under things. It's very similar to the idea of the Columbia Down Sweater, which I've reviewed in my, and I've brought up in my mid-layer video. It's a great piece for all year round. And that's what makes me excited about spring and summer, and especially products like this, that all work together so you could wear it under a shell or you could wear it on its own as a sweater or just a light jacket for the spring. Basically, these pieces are great to, I think, anywhere up to negative five. And it's great, you gotta think in the mentality of you can pack it into anything. You can pack it into your purse. If you're on an airplane, it basically packs into itself and turns into a pillow. Or you can basically, if it, I don't, I don't think all the hybrid stuff does, but you can really wrap it up nice and tight, use it as a pillow, use it on the airplane, travel with it, camp with it, leave it in the car for emergencies. These pieces are great for that. If you run, it's a great option for now the spring when it's super cold in the mornings and cooler at nights and use it all the way into early winter or use it as a winter mid layer for ski season or snowboard season. That's what I love. That's why I love these pieces is because you can use them all year round. They are pricey, but they last because they're built to last. But you're not just stuck with a parka where you can only wear it in the wintertime. So that I think is one thing that they've got going for them with the spring collection is that it is very multi-purpose. And you can now have a Canada Goose piece that you can use all year round, which is great. And the price points are... Uh, except for the shells, go down as far as the soft shells and the hybrid collection and the camp down hoodies and all that. Those are great pieces as well. They pack into themselves. They look super slick. They're incredibly warm with the way they're designed. Um, I'm definitely a fan of the camp down hoodies and the jackets and the coats, which are a little bit longer. Um, great pieces. If you guys are interested, I will leave all the links down below to the um, women's collection and the men's collection um, as usual. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below or you guys can tweet me or Instagram me. It's probably the fastest way if you guys want to show me in a picture of you guys in any of the new pieces definitely put it attach it to or uh, at me on Instagram and I would love to see you guys and get your opinion on what you feel about with this new collection it'll definitely be interesting to see how well it does and what people are gonna think about it it's definitely different and it's definitely getting away from the typical Canada goose so Hopefully it does well, or at least I hope this company, you know, doesn't screw this up. Hopefully, which, uh, you know, I got a little hope for them, but hopefully this collection does do well, and let me know what you guys think. Have a good night, guys. Bye.